The small horned dinosaur of Asia, one of the first ceratopsians and the smallest ceratopsian ever discovered. This is the Microceratus. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I'm your host Tall, and today we'll be having a quick dive on everything that you need to know about the amazing Microceratus. But before we do that, make sure that you leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur or prehistoric creature you would like to see in the future. As well, you can join our channel by becoming a member. So subscribe and turn on those notifications and become a member to unlock cool, exciting icons and emojis that you can use when interacting with our channel. And let's jump into the Microceratus. So what does Microceratus mean? No, wait, how do you pronounce its name? I searched online and found out that different sources pronounce this dinosaur's name differently, either with a Microceratus or Micro. Caratus. Both pronunciations seem to be accepted, so in this episode, let's go with the Microceratus, the soft C pronunciation. The name Microceratus means small horned. Alrighty, then I think we need to jump right into a side note. Microceratus was actually first named as Microceratops, or small horned face, by Anders Berger Boholin in 1953. It wasn't until 2008 that scientists realized that the name Microceratops has already been assigned to a genus of wasp. <laughs> the classification rules say that no two creatures, no matter how different, no matter if one is alive, and one is extinct can have the same genus name. And so this dinosaur was renamed as Microceratus by Octavio Matuas. Microceratops is now considered a nominum dubium, a dubious or doubtful name, and is no longer considered a distinct dinosaur group. Okay, side note is over. Let's jump back into the episode. So where and when did the small horned dinosaur live? Well, the Microceratus lived in Central Asia during the late Cretaceous period, around 90 to 66 million years ago. Its remains were first discovered in Mongolia's Gobi Desert. So what did the Microceratus Ceratus look like, you might be wondering. Well, I gotta warn you guys, scientists were working with very, very limited fossil remains, as they usually do, of the Microceratus, so there's still a lot we don't know about this dinosaur. Like the name suggests, the Microceratus was a very, very small dinosaur. It is said to have measured around 2 feet or 0.6 meters long, 1.5 feet or 0.45 meters tall. Unlike its much larger cousin, the Triceratops, the Microceratus was has said to have walked around on 2 feet, which probably made it more agile gotta avoid getting stomped on by bigger dinosaurs, right? So it walked on two legs and had short front arms, and like all Ceratopsian dinosaurs, it had a frill and beak-like mouth. Its neck frill was fairly small and it had a sharp beak instead of teeth. I should also mention that it's not guaranteed that the Microceratus walked on only two feet. It could have been a biped, quadruped sort of hybrid, walking on four feet and sometimes walking on two feet. Again, limited fossils, limited information gives us a sort of unclear outlook on what this dinosaur actually lived like. So. Take it all with a grain of salt, or in this case, a grain of sand. So did the Microceratus ever actually get famous? Well, there's really not much reference of the Microceratus in popular culture. It was featured in Disney's dinosaur movie, and yep, this tiny dino is in the Jurassic Park franchise, believe it or not. So exciting. The Microceratus appeared in Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park novel under its old scientific name, Microceratops. And while it was not shown in the trailer nor in the prologue, this small Ceratopsian will be in Jurassic World Dominion. Again, no spoilers on this channel for Dominion at the moment, but it was confirmed in April 2022 issue of Fangoria magazine. The magazine featured some behind the scenes images of Jurassic World Dominion, specifically the animatronics used in the movie. And that article included an image of the Microceratus, and it looked very, very cool. Very blue, very beautiful, sort of like tiger stripe patterns. We don't know, obviously, what part it's going to have to play in the movie, but as more information comes out about Dominion, and as you're watching this episode, Dominion is probably already out in theaters, we are really, really excited to find out what part the Microceratus plays in this amazing franchise. I'm personally curious to know what kind of role the Microceratus will have in this movie. I mean, it's a small herbivore. Will it be some kind of pet? Will it just get eaten by one of the predators? There's only one way to find out, and that's by watching Jurassic World Dominion when it comes out in theaters. It's showing up on June 10th, 2022, worldwide. Now let's jump into the diet and behavior of the Microceratus. Like all Ceratopsians, our dear dino was an herbivore. Its diet would have consisted of plants available in the Cretaceous Mongolia area, probably ferns, cycads, and conifers. It would have used its sharp beak to bite off the leaves, needles, and cones. Since the Microceratus was an herbivore, it was probably pretty chill and not an aggressive animal, except maybe when fighting for food or territory. So how did it defend itself from predators? Well, the neck frill was small and was probably used more of a display rather than defense. Being small and bipedal, it's possible that the Microceratus was a fairly agile and fast running dinosaur. It would have been hunted by smaller dromaeosaurs and troodontids. Pretty much if it was a carnivorous theropod and it was in the area of Microceratus, it probably would have eaten it. Then again, with limited specimens available, there is very little to know about this creature. And that, my friends, is the Microceratus. 
I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button so you don't miss a single quick dive on the dinosaur channel. We are covering every single animal in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise. We're going to be covering all your favorite dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures from Jurassic World Dominion. So make sure that you don't miss those as well. If you want to support this channel, you can become a member by joining down below. It'll cost you a little bit of money, but you'll unlock some cool icons and emojis you can use when interacting with our channel. As well, if you just want to send us some money, you can by sending us money on our PayPal link down below. And we'll see you guys in the next episode on the dinosaur channel. Goodbye.